I would like to record a short explanation why um, brainwave music um, matters to me personally, why I think it's worth of, um, exploring and doing research about. And yeah, like why I'm proceeding despite all odds, why I'm proceeding to to investigate the the history and the practice of um of biofeedback music and brainwave music more specifically. So uh, the first of three reasons is is a personal one, and I can call it biographical. So from the very early age. In particular, I remember myself being three or four years old and um, listening to um, a song, Enjoy the Silence of, um, of Depeche Mode on the radio. And I did listen radio a lot before I had the personal uh, devices, uh, computer and phone. And being a very naive child and uh, having mostly as as old children do very kind of um, primitive reactions when you have a trigger and that response i was listening to to that piece of music and i experienced experienced what we call, can call ca catharsis and that's the way i can call it from um from the heights of um of my age right now but in those days i couldn't really explain it it evoked so much thinking in me and feeling and i couldn't put it in words and i had all those kind of reserves i think the french folks call them and yeah and also as a as a little uh, person i was very interested in um, in issues of um perception Again, I'm using the um, adult person vocabulary to, to describe that. Uh, but basically, I was wondering like why the world the way it is, uh, how everything that I see around appeared at all, whether things exist when I like close my eyes and fall asleep, kind of a solipsist um, question. And... When the time came to write a statement of purpose, applying for a PhD, and I had to figure out what were what was that kind of passion that I can trace to my early days. And I started to think of, about my entire course of life and, and trying to figure out like what were the constant um the the constant interests of mine. And it turned out that apparently music was the passion that I couldn't abandon. And um, those philosophical, I could say, uh, questions about um, mind and perception, those were like the key areas of interest. But the issue was, and the, the, the reason why I didn't uh, pursue it as a kind of a practice was because I couldn't um I couldn't put the two together I just I I couldn't figure out how to proceed with the both and not to have to choose in between so it brings us to the second point um brainwave music as being a hybrid practice so overall uh, brainwave music as a part of experimental music as the kind of tradition and experimental music per se is a hybrid practice. And by hybrid practice, uh, I imply, and this term, it was coined recently in the book published by UC Press. Hybrid practice, putting it simply, is a practice that is not strictly an artistic endeavor and not strictly a scientific one. Um, it's usually a combination of kind of art science and it allows both to create an aesthetic experience as well as to learn something about ourselves and the world, basically to perform a kind of research. 
So yeah, I mean, it works on both sides and allows to allows to transcend that issue of dichotomy and incompatibility of art and science and all this um, two cultures nonsense. And yeah, and, and experimental music, it, it, at least in its original, um, in its original sense, when in in 1950s when it sort of came to prominence it it appeared in the cold war context it appeared in the time when uh, to get funding um, artists were mimicking science musicians specifically it was the time when cybernetics and uh, information theory were super impactful so um it's and and brainwave music allows to pursue both. Apparently we can uh, learn something about our nervous system as well as um, in perception and uh, as well as uh, to create to create this environment for exploration and for joy uh, or any other feeling feeling associated experience. So yeah, it, it basically, it's it, this this practice permits not to choose. So it's 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 a perfect match for me as someone who struggled over the entire life uh, how to bring together mind and brain and and music. And the third point, it's both. Um, it's both personal as well as. Um, of, of broader implications. Um, and it con concerns the effects and how within um, the traditional uh, biofeedback music and brainwave music specifically, um, how it allows, again, to, to transcend that dichotomy of feeling slash effect versus thinking slash reason it allows to transcend those dichotomies and culturally and from the philosophical standpoint some may trace it to the emergence of this opposition to the age of um reason to enlightenment some may uh, even call it a cartesian problem um blaming Rene Descartes and that of course i mean that's uh that's the problem that uh, that that can be traced up to the the ancient times but from today's from today's perspective you really to to perform the brainwave music you're supposed be, as as with any kind of art you're supposed to engage your engage with your feelings for for the performance at the same time you need to keep this intentional control over the EEG output in case with the brainwave music to perform something that would i don't know make sense be pleasing potentially potentially if if that's uh the intent at all yeah, and uh, and for me throughout the entire life and up to now, unlike with um, with hybrid practice and this discovery of the brainwave music that it actually already exists, and that I don't have to reinvent the wheel. Unlike with me finding that area where we can. Uh, where I, where I don't have to choose between the art and science with a fact and feelings on one side and reason and thinking on the other side I still I, I didn't come to peace I didn't come to resolution I um I keep wondering and keep being puzzled and that's probably um the case stimulus for 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 the progress for and and for um 
continuing to be interested in um in this topic and yeah the 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 personal side to it is that i because of the way my nervous system operates and it largely falls into what therapists and people generally call today neurodivergence i i i i don't experience the positive effect at that wide spectrum as other people do and it's not a temporary issue as with the depression when you have anhedonia but that that's pretty much the same, but it's it's rather an issue with uh with the reward mechanism and it impacts motivation of doing anything. And yeah, I I, I don't know to what to what extent I, I don't think to the extent of my awareness, I don't think it's it's well researched, but I do remember that I wasn't always that way. Um, I've been that way for long enough to not remember how it may be otherwise. But I I also realize that for most of my life, I thought that I'm supposed to restrain the effect, um, whether it was positive or it was like an aggression, something like that that was something to restrain and in these days i'm it's i i don't experience the wide spectrum of positive effects and music is actually one of those um rare stimuli that uh, that moves something in me if if to put it in a kind of simple language and evokes uh, something that evokes a response and on the aggression as well as side um it's it doesn't come from the self control it's 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 just organic not to have um the the defensive um uh, the defensive reaction um and that's not the case with like the negative effect and with empathy and those are kind of exaggerated in my case but with all that i realize that growing up the message was to um to to the, the message i received and and both from people around and from the culture is that i'm supposed to be moderate i'm supposed not to um not to be over overly active and loud and this matches well with with, with the fact that again this um the positive effect and the aggression they are not expressed to the degree they are expressed in an average human being so this this makes me wonder like whether it was something that i acquired or it's probably both something about the brain chemistry and the way the nervous system works and something um something i was taught to to muster to muster the emotions yeah and and and, and the brainwave music um, is as an area of investigation and, and practice it's it's a it's a great terrain to proceed the exploration that is both um, informed by those abstract problems as well as um, by by the personal experience so yeah the intent is to proceed being a diligent student of uh, biofeedback and the arts and hopefully at some point come up with um, some practice maybe to innovate on my own that's it